New Zealand maintains that it will remain independent. Just a moment. Yeah. I call Brett Hudson. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'll take, a rise, take another call in this appropriation debate. I want to talk briefly on foreign emergency New Zealand, Madam Chair. It's a very, very important part of the work that governance and administration were doing in this, in this particular piece of work. But actually, also as a member who uh, sat on that committee for most of the previous term, so was present when the Minister of the time introduced the bill to talk about the... Uh, the bringing together of our urban and rural fire services uh, and the planning around the transition for that. So it was a, a key topic of conversation for the chair and chief exec and team at this annual review hearing. Of course, it was highlighted and crystallised somewhat uh, last year during that rather large uh, rural fire in, in Christchurch. Uh, and of course, it was a time uh, of quite, quite poignant because at the time, the services knew they would be coming together, but they weren't at that time. And of course, there was a very tragic loss of life in the fighting of that fire. And while no one would suggest nor claim that the, the two services being separate in any way was directly linked to that tragic unfolding of events, without question, we were informed that one of the key uh, items that they learned from the review of that incident and the way it was addressed was the communications between the emergency services uh, remained a challenge for the effective and efficient fighting of that particular fire. So the fact that at the time, and although it couldn't be changed at the time, but at the time, because our urban and fire services uh, were formed under, under different command and control, uh, weren't uh, uh, generally uh, training and working together, that that uh, did hinder the absolute effectiveness of the way that they could respond to that emergency. And of course, that made it even more relevant and poignant to question them about how the transition uh, has been proceeding. And it is a staged uh, trans uh, transition, Madam Chair. It is never going to be a Pantene overnight thing. Uh, but the first stages are complete. Uh, they have reported that the the, the two bodies, if you like, uh, have embraced the idea that they are coming together. One of the areas which was dear to the heart of rural uh, firefighters in particular, because they had amassed over the years some very large pool of assets that had been bequeathed or otherwise donated to urban fire units uh, from trusts and families who had particular interests in the area. And there was real concern ahead of the transition, Madam Chair, about what, how those assets would be treated, uh, and indeed if they would, in a sense, be lost to those communities. Well, FENS have uh, assured us at the time, that the, under Select Committee interrogation of the bill at the time, that that wouldn't happen, and have further reassured us, as the transition has been progressing, that they are indeed uh, responding with exactly that in mind. So the rural um, uh, firefighters or the rural asset pool remains uh, untouched and still a use, in use and available, so that those very generous donations that uh, those units have received over the years are still there to be used in those sorts of uh, emergencies. But also now, because of the coming together of the, uh, of the two uh, command and control systems, we're going to see a better integration of uh, firefighters and emergency responders able to uh, share the knowledge and experience they have and to be more efficiently and effectively respond to emergencies, whether they be on in the heart of the urban area, on the fringe, or indeed in rural areas. And the, the, one of the reasons this becomes even more important is because the role of what was in the fire service had evolved over the recent decades, where instead of just responding to fire-type emergencies, uh, firefighters or uh, uh, personnel were spending far more of their efforts uh, responding to items such uh, incidents such as road uh, crashes. Uh, so it's more a, a, a matter of importance that uh, our, all fire service personnel are able to respond to the range of emergency incidents they might be called upon. It's also important along with that, of course, that the levy that is paid 
by individuals, by businesses, by households, is adequately uh, calculated to make sure that the service can respond to all of the different types of services it might provide. There is still some way to go there, Madam Chair. They have just begun the consultation round uh, to do that. It's an important they get that right. It will be important to the successful running of FENS into the future, and I commend them on the work they've done. I call Andrew Bailey. Thank you. Uh, Madam Chair, it's a pleasure to be talking on this, in this debate. 